Hey folks, let's drive some nickel through our gem today, shall we? This is vaping like a champ. No waking issues, no dry heads, absolutely perfect. A tank is nearly over. So this is the reason I cannot talk about it confidently to you guys. Let me show you what I did. So 28 gauge nickel and 2.4 mm screwdriver. Let me harden it up a bit. This is called work hardening. Now how many wraps it can take? I guess about 10 wraps. Let's see. So I'll first make 10 wraps. 1, 2, 3, 4, press them across. 5, 6, 7, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'll make 11 wraps because one wrap from this side I'll remove. So here you have 11. This one remove. Yeah, it is tight enough. Now let me first see whether it will take 10 wraps. Yes, it can, but in a compact coil. If I need to space it out, it may be that difficult. So let me remove one wrap. Let me keep only 9 wraps. Yeah. Yep, 9 will fit perfectly. Actually 10 also can. But let me keep it at 9 and see. So let me do the first one. Give one complete round. You saw I wrapped it around completely. Because with 9, with nickel, we want a permanent and good connection. And that is the reason I have not cut this wire. Like it will help me in holding it and pulling it. Yep. That's it. Now tighten it down. Let's do the other side. Yeah, same way pulling it and making a complete round. Remember this is the positive pin. This is the tricky part. You should not wrap it here. If you do that then both of the legs are negative and you have a shot. So ensure that you have wrapped it. I don't know whether you can see. So ensure that you have wrapped it between the screw threads. So I have given it a complete rotation and then holding it tight with my tweezers let me tighten it down let me see yeah it seems to be within that post and the threaded part of the screw Okay, let us check the resistance where it comes out. Nothing seems to be touching anywhere. Let me remove this leg. Let's see.
0.08 seems to be okay let's give it a heat test yep no issues so 9 wraps 28 gauge 9200 no issues came to 0 0.08 ohms seems to be okay so I'm good here now let me wick it yeah now ensure that no wires are running around amok anywhere they need to be well tucked in so you see the situation now nine wraps this is nearly contact and well within this the coiling well let me wick it anyway and see what it works out to as usual I have rolled up some rayon and let me insert it through it remember as I always say rayon needs to be packed tight so I'll turn this end and pull it across like so and then fluff them out at both ends unravel this end and move it across left and right this looks good with cotton you will be using little less denser uh, wick rayon needs to be absolutely tight up so cutting it straight across the outers after cutting you can pull it back like I did to ensure that it is within this area it is same thing repeat here just eyeballing because if it is slightly overhanging not an issue you will be always placing it inside now to saturate it using one of my favorites this is RY4 double 50-50 mix it's from Yelik this one now let's give it a vapor check new coil up say yes vapor production is perfect no issues there so I can now assemble everything back for that let me remove it alright so it's all hunky dory till now flathead screwdriver gently place the wick end inside and I don't stuff it down I just place it gently keeping this end little bit vertically like a bow this is my reservoir concept like this same way repeat the other side gently first place everything inside and then press it against the exterior so it looks good so my coil is neither contact coil nor a spaced coil it is near contact and near spaced absolutely close fine
ensure that the stud and the groove they mate up well attach the AFC ring yeah fine attach the adapter 510 adapter yeah all well let's see new coil up no it is the same coil so it seems to be 0.9 ohms yeah let me take it vape no problems so folks near contact coil 0.09 ohms it was 0 0.08 before mounting the wick after mounting the wick it became 0 0.09 not a problem 18.9 watts I'll be firing it at 23 watts so let me go up and talk to you further yeah I can see the bubbles forming up perfectly satisfying before coming up on FaceTime I did some more vaping I found keeping it at 22 watts it was faring better so it's still the 0.09 ohms coil and firing it at 22 watts I'm taking fairly long draws and it is performing well see the bubble as long as you can see the bubbles going up your build is perfect temperature protected is not hitting in early it seems to keep up well I'm taking fairly long draws no problem at all so nickel build on a gem is also perfect the best part of atomizers like the gem and the alconic in are the connection between the 510 and the posts is rock solid if you mount your coil properly and if you have trapped the legs the coil legs coil ends on both the posts properly I with all nickel builds give them a double wrap around so that your connection is perfect and here it is performing absolutely well rock solid rock solid resistance no leakage nothing and I'm keeping the airflow completely open the air hole is full open with nickel two things you got to have in your coil constant juice supply and as much airflow as possible this too if it is maintained well there will be no early hitting of temperature control uh, the sign that comes up you are seeing me I'm taking long draws it is keeping up well perfect many of you have successfully built it I saw it on the ECF thread many of you are rocking your uh, 9200 coils perfectly this is absolutely no big deal putting an eye in this uh, gem you saw it was simple and easy it was like coiling any other thing the waking procedure is also same and I am vaping 50-50 percentage juice it's keeping up well So friends, I hope you can uh, take something out of this uh, video that I did. It's a short one. The way I'm doing it, no issues. No big deal. Anybody can do it. It's it's not a tutorial as such. It's a simple coiling and waking. And seems to be faring well. So thank you for watching this video, friends. See you till next. Bye. Remember, vaping is a healthier alternative. And we have the right to make that choice.